everyone, welcome to my YouTube. Um, today I'm going to open a Simon Says Stamp box for you. Um, I've actually almost cancelled this a couple times just because I have so much going on. Um, and I actually do more mixed media and less cards. Um, in fact, I've stopped doing cards altogether because I'm horrible at sending them. Um, but Simon Says Stamp stuff can also be used in mixed media projects, scrapbooking, things like that. So. Uh, when I saw what was in this month's box on their website, I had to get it um, because I think it's super cool. Uh, one of my best friends actually loves bees, um, honeybees to be exact, um, and I do too. Honeybees are super cool. So I decided to go ahead and get this month's box, so let's go ahead and see what they sent. The cool thing about Sunny's stamp is they package everything neatly in a paper bag um, and I actually reuse those paper bags in my art journals or just uh, junk journals um, you'll see let's see if I have one handy um, so I'm actually working on a Disney junk junk journal right now um, this is the box from the old Disney treasures that they used to send out and in here I have used these bags in my junk journaling. So let's see, one of these pages has the bag right here. So you'll see that this is actually, I use it for a background um, to catch paint and stuff while I'm painting um, just to cover stuff up and then I throw it in my journal. So it's super cool. I've got one side here and then the other side's right here. This one I actually cut up to be two pages. Yeah cut to two pages. So I'll definitely post this once it's done, um, but I wanted to show you that you can definitely use these products, especially when they send you paper products, um, versus plastic in your journals. So first up, I've never seen this before. It says it is a glue sponge, a cleaner way to glue. Just press no mess. Acid free liquid gluing system. So, I guess. Prime the sponge by pressing down on the sponge in various areas. Once the top of the sponge feels tackly, gently press the material you're gluing into the sponge. Coat your material, lift it off, and put it where you want it. Um, so that's cool, especially when you're doing a little intricate die stamps, thing, or dice, die pieces, things like that. Um, let's see. Not sure if that was actually supposed to do that, but it was blocking the lid, so. There you go. So there is the glue. You literally just take, of course I don't have anything, let's see, take something, stick it on, didn't prime it too much because it was already wet, so you see on there, the wet and tacky, make sure it's all over, and then you glue it on your arm. Is super cool that'll come in very handy in art journaling and junk journaling for that matter. You close it back up. Super cool. Thank you, Simon Says Stamp. Alright, let's see what's in this kit. I lost my lollipop. my paper bag. Here's my cherry lollipop. Um, super cool honeycomb die cut. It's very small but it'll be amazing on back backgrounds. Um, cards, if you make cards. Thanks for being there for me. Mel, if you're watching, you may get some of these cards. <laughs> Let's chase all the beautiful rainbows. 
every little thing is going to be all right. Every little thing. And I can't sing. And an envelope. I am not a huge fan of yellow, as you've probably heard on many of my videos, but this is super cool. I love the mix. Um, yeah, I just think it screams honeybee to me. Pretty cool. I don't make shaker cards, but for those of you that do, that would be amazing. Foil transfer sheets. Looks like five piece rainbow shattered glass. Pretty cool color. Let's see if they're all the same. Okay, not the same color, so that's cool. I've got a variety, and there's five pieces in here. You can see the detail on that. Super nice. These stamps this month will be very cool, also. Um, there's some sayings, be yourself, things will be okay, be awesome, thanks for being there, just because you're the bee's knees, beautiful, cute little bees, um, they all have different expressions, I love this little guy with glasses, and I love the honeycomb, um, for backgrounds, and then little hearts, and this little buzzing, buzz. um, it comes with a inspiration page, different things. It doesn't tell you how to do them, but it tells you things that they have made, and you can find these people um, usually on Simon Says Stamp website, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, anything like that. You can usually find some pretty cool cards, suggestions how to make things. I even like this one that doesn't have a lot of the light, it's got the dark dark, but it's super cool. And then let's look at their papers. It's like a yellow linen stock. Black. Heavyweights. This one feels a little glossy, but not totally. Let's see if there's what kind this one is. It just says Simon, Stack one tw Simon Says Stamp 120 weight cardstock. So, very nice smooth cardstock. And then a pack of Honeybee Stamps cardstock paper. So it says double sided, 12 sheets, one of each design. So. Sometimes it's hard for me to pick which side I want to do. It looks like my nails today. Like this one. It's kind of got an ombre between gray and yellow. But look at that honeycomb. There you go. There is a Simon Says Stamp. I believe it's the June kits. They do it a month behind. Um, either way, it's the Be Yourself Stamp Set. If you like my videos and want to see more, um, please hit that subscribe button and also the big thumbs up on the like. Thanks for joining.